Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to reading for mid-July 2023. We're just gonna jump right in here, Scorpio. You have this broken open card and this exposed and revealed card. So something something has been revealed here. Mm. That Ten of Wands came out in reverse. I don't read reversals, but uh, the Ten of Wands can in reverse can represent releasing burdens or putting some burdens down. So this could be a good thing. It's like you're releasing something, you have the strength card, uh, you're becoming stronger. Uh, so, you know, maybe there was a sad situation that you've dealt with um, with this card here. We'll talk about that in just a minute. For some of you, I feel like you've experienced a heartbreak. Um, could have been, you know, over a year ago, I'm getting as well. And, you know, it's like one of those things, maybe you've been having a hard time releasing it. Um, it's like you're past it. You know, I kind of, it's kind of interesting because I have the energy here of being past something. It's like you're, 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 you're past it, but there's still kind of like an attachment or something along those lines that could be maybe um, holding you back. Yep, you have the three of swords here. See, this situation needs to end, you know? <laughs> there's no other way to say it, Scorpio. You know, for some of you, I feel you know that this situation needs to end. I don't think you're dealing with this person either, if it's a person. I feel that it's more, you know, it's giving me more the vibes of kind of just needing to heal. Yeah, you have the tower here. The tower is coming up in your last row here, uh, which is the good stuff. So, you know, this last row is going to be good no matter what. And so, you know, there could be a surprise coming in for you. Um Something much better is what I would say. You have the, um, here, actually, I do want to talk about these real quick. Again, there could be um, some sort of truth that is being revealed here. You have the Ace of Swords. Even though the tower is in the area of the good stuff, you go from the Ace of Swords to the Page of Wands to the tower, you know? So for some of you, uh, you know, this could be a truth coming out or, or something has been exposed to you. The, th the weird thing is I feel like you've always known <laughs> it's like I have this feeling of you just always having known, like if this is a person revealing the truth. We have Venus retrograde, by the way, uh, starting on the 22nd. So it doesn't surprise me that there could be some sort of truth being revealed or something like that. And, you know, I kind of get that feeling that you've always known something was happening. I also feel that for some of you, this could have been a burdening relationship that you were in. You go from the uh, 10 of wands, nine of swords to the seven of cups, always kept you guessing, always, you know, round and round type of energy here. Always think, you know, good, bad, you know, all like all this stuff, you know, all over the place, right? With that seven of cups. It's like, there are good things and bad things in those cups. And you know, sometimes I do, especially if you're, you were with a person who had trauma, for example, it's like sometimes I think people who have trauma uh, you know, in their life, maybe from their childhood, it's like they want to love, but they have never been loved. So they don't even know what that is. So it's kind of like, you know, it's like if you've ever seen those those videos where dogs get rescued or whatever, and it's like at first the dog is like attacking the person, and then the, the dog, it, you know, at the end of the video, it's like a classic YouTube trick, right? Is like they're loving on the, the dog's all like full of love and everything. But it's like sometimes those dogs, um, they, they'll still bite, you know, eventually, right? It's because they like they don't know. And I know it's, it's uh, effed up to compare your past person to a dog, but, um, you know, it's almost as if it's that's the energy that I'm getting here. It's like the person, it's like they want to op wanted to open up, but then when they would, they would like bite, you know, or they would do something stupid or, you know, whatever the case may be here. And I feel like you have to move on. It's like you're in that position now where you're like, oh, I've done what I can do. And I also feel like there's something very special coming up here at the end. So, you know, what I would say is that I feel like there's a much better person coming in for you. You have the Queen of Pentacles. I kind of feel like some of you have withdrawn and have decided to focus on your own income, on your own yeah, you know, be, being your own uh, independence. I also feel you've learned a lot for whatever reason about anxiety. You have this rabbit right here and the rabbit on the queen of pentacles can represent fear and anxiety. She's focusing on the pentacle. She's not focused on the rabbit. So instead of she's, you know, choosing what to focus on, there's a million and one reasons to be worried about X, Y, and Z, everything going on in the world, but she's choosing to focus on what she can control. And I kind of feel like you, Scorpio, have been focusing on what you can control. You have the strength card. I definitely feel this has been a difficult lesson, you know, especially if this was a person who really hurt you. Nine of swords, three of swords here. You know, I feel, and you know, this, this card here can represent like deep grief, um, you know, sadness, holding on to pain, things like that. So I feel you have experienced that, um, you know, with a person. I feel like I've said this all to you before. So <laughs> I just feel like I'm repeating myself at this point, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see what is going on here for you. 
I do feel something changing. By the way, I'm using the Lenormand to clarify. You have the tower. The tower in the Lenormand is different than the tower in the Tarot, just so you know. It's a little bit better of a card. The tower stands above the clouds in the Lenormand as well. So it can be something that is kind of like a guiding light. You know, it's like if there's something that sticks up above the clouds, if you're, you know, trying to accomplish a goal or something like that, you know, that's kind of what it represents. Something that is like a beacon, something that is guiding you on your journey. So something is guiding you. The similarity here between this card and the tower is that it can represent isolation. Those people are isolating themselves in the tower, in the tower card, um, in the Lenormand is what I'm trying to say. That is a tongue twister for some reason, but, um, they're isolating themselves. That's why the tower's collapsing because they're ignoring reality and they're protecting themselves with that tower. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if you are kind of, uh, if you have been isolating yourself if, or feeling that. So I would, again, open up to other people. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have this mice card. All three water signs had this mice card. Um, the mice can represent, again, needing to overcome an obstacle. Uh, the mice is generally considered to be a bad card in the Lenormand because uh, it's card like worry, stress, um, you know, things things taking too long. I always say with the mice um, that it can represent a time where you're making slow progress as well. So it can represent that. I kind of feel for the water signs, and I said this to both Pisces and Scorpio, because they both have this card, that I feel like you need to like swing for the fences. There is, and even just with some of these other cards that are showing up here, there's this energy of really needing to give something, you know, 120% effort or more, <laughs> you know? Um, so needing to give something your all. It's like you could be playing too small. Honestly, I'm surprised that the star hasn't come up in a reading like this because, you know, the star kind of, it's a good card. I love the star, but she's dipping her toes in the water. And sometimes I feel with the star, we need to make that, you know, 300% commitment, 1000% commitment. We really need to jump into something that we want to commit to, whether it's like a goal, wish, dream, something we want to create, a business, a person, whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, I kind of get that feeling here where it's like, if you're not seeing the levels of success you want, I almost feel you just need to play bigger, not smaller. Uh, with the strength card, you have the house. The house is a card of safety, security, comfort, protection. So again, I feel some of you have been pr kind of practicing that on yourself, like creating your own safety, security, comfort, protection. Uh, next, you have this uh, Dolce card and this La, La, La Rona card. You know, again, I'm Spanish, by the way, for those of you that don't know. And I cannot, not only, I was born with a fat tongue. So thank God I wasn't born in Spain, by the way, um, also because there's no freaking way that I speak good Spanish, right? But, um, you know, right here, this card, it represents the weeping woman, you know, the, uh, the grieving widow. So I feel for a lot of you, and again, you don't have to be a widow, but you could be a man as well. <laughs> and I feel you could be grieving something, grieving the loss of something. You have that three of swords, um, you know, which is deep sorrow. Uh, this Dolce card is a card of like pouring it on thick. It's actually a good card. I do feel if you're getting into a new relationship that either a person wants to pour it on thick, like they're going to be, you know, gaming you up, or you're going to want to do this to a person where it's like you're really gonna really want to invest in the connection. So I kind of feel this is more saying it is safe for you to love. I feel it's kind of weird because I feel like you're moving past this. Um, it's almost like I get this feeling of honoring, you're you're honoring the pain, you know? I don't know, I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, those are the words that are popping into my head. Half the stuff I say doesn't even make sense to me. So, <laughs> you know, there you go, right? But sometimes I do feel if we honor it, and then we can release it. Maybe that's what's going on here. You have the Magician, the Nine of Swords, and the uh, Ace of Swords. Something had to come to an end. You know, there's like some sort of difficult truth that had to be revealed. I'm wondering if this happened a while ago. Some of you, this feels old to me, um, but you could still be thinking about it. Sometimes I think we can get blindsided. Tower, um, you know, we can get blindsided by something that so rocks our world that we're, it, you know, kind of totally shakes us up, you know? And I'm wondering if some of you have dealt with the situation, but now I feel it's time for you to release it. You know, the Nine of Swords is a round around situation, but the Nine of Swords is a choice. So, you know, for a lot of you, I do feel it's time for you to release the, you know, the pain, the the sadness and all those other things. I feel it's time for you to move towards something new. You have the Ace of Swords, which is like a truth coming out. So I feel some sort of truth could be being revealed um, or has been revealed. The Ace of Swords can also be a sacrifice. There's a palm frond right here and an olive branch right here. Palm fronds in the tarot represent a sacrifice. Um, they can represent releasing something. And the olive branch represents an offer of peace, but it can also represent abundance. So sometimes when we make a sacrifice, we actually get abundance. It's interesting. You have this clam card at the end or this oyster, and it's got that giant pearl in it. <laughs> and it literally says, when the grit becomes a pearl. <laughs> 
So again, I feel like you've been through a lot of grit and you know that's how a pearl is formed. A, a oyster gets a piece of sand under its shell and then it forms a pearl. To, and so I feel you're through whatever you've been through, you're kind of creating something really, really beautiful. Uh, you have the uh, magician. So I feel like you're attracting this right here. <laughs> it's like you're finally opening up to something new. So there could be a new, very passionate connection coming in for you, especially if you feel like you're ready for love or you feel like you're ready to open up to love here. I feel you really could be attracting a person where it's like you pour it on thick. Like I said, with that Dol that Dolce card literally in the book for that um, for that card, it's all about like laying it on thick, you know? So you could be really attracting someone like that. Where, But I feel like you do it to each other. So it's not like, this isn't like something toxic. I feel this is something that is going to be good for you. I feel like you've attracted this. You've attracted some, someone you're very attracted to. It could be a fire sign. Uh, you have the whip. Again, the whip is a card of whipping yourself in the back, you know, in the Lenormand, it represents uh, repetition, like repeating the same mistake. So maybe you're afraid to repeat the same mistake again with a person. And again, I've been getting this a lot for a lot of people that people are, are kind of fearing repeating these mistakes. But really, the Nine of Swords says it's a comfort zone. The Nine of Swords, he has this blanket right here. That blanket represents a comfort blanket. It's like he could easily get up out of bed and he would stop having the nightmare, <laughs> but he's kind of a little bit too comfortable. So again, I think we repeat mistakes in relationships because we pick the same type of person because why do we pick the same type of person? Because we know exactly what we're going to get. It's like there's no surprise. It's almost like it becomes a comfort zone. We don't have to take the risk of learning a new type of person. So, you know, and again, I'm not picking on here. I've done it. <laughs> I've picked the same type of person five times in a row, right? Um, um, and so, but then, then I had to stop. So, you know, it's like sometimes you have to take the risk and get and not play it safe in love. As in, no, you shouldn't be with some player. It's, that's not what I'm talking about, playing it safe. I'm saying don't play it safe as in maybe you need to find a person that makes you grow. Maybe you need to find a person where you have to improve yourself in some way to be with them in the first place, right? Uh, with the Nine of Swords, you have this Lily's card. Uh, the Lily's card kind of represents like a mature person. So there could be a more mature person uh, coming in for you just in general. Uh, I also do feel I'm getting, this card can represent experience and I'm getting something about experience here. Um, but no, I, like I feel like you are learning through experience. And I also feel it's saying trust that you are learning. And uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have this ship card. The ship can represent travel, moving, uh, um, you know, all sorts of things like that. And you have the house right next to it. So it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were moving, traveling, uh, going somewhere new, expanding your horizons, you know, learning new things. Again, I feel we are in a time where we really need to expand our horizons. We need to have experiences. We need to learn new things. And I keep saying experience is the currency of the future. Um, so again, the best thing I think people can do is add their own experience to something and, um, you know, add their own twist. It's like, it's the only thing that will make us different than the robots, right? <laughs> so uh, again, be having your own unique experience. Uh, next, uh, you have this wishing well card and the sacred pool card. I feel the sacred pool card is saying that you've gone through some sort of healing and I do feel you need to make a wish because there's something really good coming in for you. This could be a person. You have the three of swords, page of wands, and the seven of cups. Again, I feel you're, you You could be going back and forth on a person. Like if you're interested in a person or if someone's dating you or something along those lines, you could be kind of going back and forth here. But I feel like saying this is worth the risk. I also feel you need to be careful of a person like this. You know, if you had a person who, it's like I said, I, I feel like this is a person where it's like you want to love them, <laughs> but they're like that dog that's been abused. You know, it's it's sad that I, I feel like that makes it worse because, you know, it's sad that they have traumas or whatever the case may be. But it also, you know, it's like they could get these things fixed or they need to get these thing, things fixed. And it's like one of those things. It's like I think us spiritual people, it's like we want to do the right thing. We want to help people. But Unless a person's willing to be helped, there is nothing you can do. So again, you might see this person like a wounded animal and you want to help them, but it's like you can't, you know? So I would I would just be careful because, you know, it's like, I, I think on, on it would be different if you didn't try to help this person, but I feel like you have tried to help this person, they don't accept it. So it, it's one of those things where if you can't swim, should you sh save a drowning person? The answer is hell no, because you're going to get dragged down with them. And, you know, I kind of get that feeling here where as hard as it is, it's time to like, you know, heal this situation. It's time to forgive the situation and move away from it. So, you know, for a lot of you, I feel that you're wishing for to heal yourself with that wishing well card. I feel like you're wishing uh, to be able to move forward into something better. 
With a three of swords, you have the man card. Yes, I mean, definitely something new. Crazy. All three water signs have this card, so definitely could be a new person coming in for you. Doesn't It doesn't have to be a man, by the way. It doesn't matter what gender you're interested in. Could be any gender. Uh, with the page of wands, you have the stork. Um, you know, the stork represents the birth of something new. And right here, we go to the four of wands. The four of wands is kind of like a portal card. You know, there's this portal in the middle. You have to cross through that portal to get to the other side. So I feel like there's something new or there's, you know, kind of the four of wands represents completion. You know, it's a finish line card. So I feel like you're finishing one thing up and you're getting ready to have a new celebration in your life. Yes, here's another portal card. With the seven of cups, you have this garden card. The garden is about like going to a party, an event, something that you will enjoy. It can represent, um, you know, meeting new people and things like that as well. But it's also kind of your environment, you know, uh, protecting your environment, creating a nice environment for yourself and getting rid of things that don't, you know, that, that ruin that for you, getting rid of the weeds, basically. Uh, next, you have this card that says a fire a firebird is called the sore, and you have this card that says when the grit becomes a pearl. So you know, again, I feel like you're being called. By the way, you are the firebird, Scorpio. You are traditionally the phoenix. You know, in traditional ancient astrology, you were not the scorpion. You were a phoenix. You kind of represented death and rebirth. So. You know, for a lot of you, I kind of feel like that's your energy. And I feel like you've been through something and you're about to get a pearl because of what you have been through, because of the difficulties and the challenges. Again, this last row represents the good stuff. And you have the tower, the queen of wands and the four of wands. So again, there could be a pleasant surprise coming in for you. This is also your card as well, Scorpio. So you're coming up in a very strong position. I feel like there could be a lot of benefits and uh, a lot of success coming in for you with the tower. Um, I also feel that you could be finally getting a reward for some some of the tower moments or difficulties that you have been through. You have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is bold, assertive. She really goes for what she wants. And I definitely feel it is time for you to go for what you want. I feel like you're very attractive at this time. Again, is there like a person here? Yeah, there's kind of like a person here, but at the same time, maybe you're just dating. You have that garden card, which is kind of a card of playing the field. It's more of a card of... Um, you know, getting out there, meeting new people. So, you know, don't feel like you have to, you know, meet the one right now. You could just be dating. You could just be meeting new people. Maybe you're meeting a new type of person, like I said, where you have to put more work in and you're figuring it out. You have the four of wands, which is a card of marriage. If you want to get married, I do feel there could be mar marriage coming in for you in the future. I'm not picking up on any signs here, really. Um, so it could be any sign, doesn't matter anyway. Uh, but I also feel the four of wands is a card of freedom. So I feel like you feel a sense of freedom in your life. Uh, probably you're probably setting yourself free from the heartbreak with the tower you have this tunnel card uh, this deck has some oracle cards in it that are not lenormand cards this is one of them and it says hiding passage journey uh lost refuge exploring the subconscious dark times i feel like you're coming out of dark times because you know again this is showing up in the good stuff with the queen of wands you have this bouquet someone wants to give you a gift again crazy all three water signs have had this card so um you know it could be a water sign coming in for you in love um, but you know, this card represents like a gift or someone bringing you a gift and, or bringing you something nice. So I do feel that. I also feel like someone wants to give you attention. Uh, you could also just be getting a lot of attention with the queen of wands. I always tell people like if you're trying to get a raise or something like that at work, for example, it would be a good time to try to get extra attention, do extra work, do extra things because you'll probably get a raise or a promotion. Uh, with the four wands, you have this devil card again, another uh, oracle card in this deck. It says shadow self, addiction, obsession, limits, dependency, and materialism. So again, some of you could be, um, you know, de have dealt with a person like that in the past, but it is showing up with the good stuff. So I feel you're probably attracting the opposite. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now here. I'm using the oracle of the radiant sun to pull five themes, by the way. Let's see. Uh, you have this caution card. I would be cautious of people who get too much attention as well. Again, I think there's a difference between someone who gets too much attention and someone who entertains it. So, you know, there's a big difference there. If you are dealing with a person who is entertaining the attention that they get, then obviously you should take that as a warning sign. And that is kind of what's popping into my head here. You know, some people just look too good, right? And there's nothing they can do. Um, you know, so maybe they just get too much attention. But what I would say here is, you know, again, if they're entertaining it, different story. Uh, you have this endurance card. I feel like you're being rewarded for your endurance. This is the sun in Scorpio, by the way, this card. Yes, there's a lion on it. I don't, I don't know why, but <laughs> whatever. Um, you know, it's your card. So you're definitely showing up in this reading. You have this uh, fulfillment card. I feel like there is a lot of fulfillment coming in for you. If you're traveling, moving, uh, doing like long distance business or anything like that, I really see a lot of success coming in for you here with that card. 
Uh, next, you have this control card. I feel like you're taking back control of your life. I feel you feel like you're more in control, less emotional. Again, I feel it was weird. I was getting that like embracing the pain or something like that with that, um, you know, the widow card there. So some of you, you know, definitely could be healing. Uh, and finally, you have this fortune card. Yes, I feel like there are good fortunes coming in for you. There could be a fire sign coming in for you as well. Again, if you want love, it could be a fire sign, but take it how it resonates. It's pretty simple reading, pretty straightforward. I like it though, here, Scorpio. I like where it's going. So make a wish. Uh, looks good. I feel like you're being rewarded for your pain as well with that uh, that oyster card, whatever. But it uh, looks good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.